Hello. U.S. Mantis shipped me $100 worth of praying mantises, and they're really cool looking, so let's unbox them. These have actually already been unboxed. I, uh, all these shipping updates got sent to my spam email, and I didn't realize this package was delivered until I was 100 miles away in Virginia, so I had to drive 100 miles back up to West Virginia and get these and check if they're okay, um, and they're all okay. So, I got two mantises. I got some soldier fly larvae, also known as maggots. Uh, oh, it looks like they're busting out of here. Oh, and for any of you guys that have noticed my hands, the gorilla fingers I have right now, don't make fun of me in the comments, okay? I will delete my account if you make fun of me. I was just playing with some walnuts. I was eating them, having a good time. Everyone's been saying stuff like, hey, Morgan, what is wrong with your hands? Wash your hands. I, I tried. <laughs> it doesn't come off for like weeks. But I don't care. I live in the middle of the woods. It makes sense that I have dirty hands. And we got fruit flies. Because my old fruit flies are, there's some alive, but there's this gross brown liquid at the bottom. A mixture of poo and pee and food and maggots. It's not a lot of fun. This looks a lot cleaner. Still wouldn't put it in my mouth though. That was the invoice. And let's see, where is this gonna go? Nice. So first I gotta say US Mantis is actually a really cool site. Um, I'm glad to have been able to work with them. They have like care sheets on all their stuff like right in the description. So if I look at this guy on their site, it'll have a care sheet at the bottom and that's very helpful. Uh, Cause I don't keep a lot of mantises. I keep a lot of spiders and stuff. So I'm not, I'm kind of new to this part of the hobby. They also have like a great beginners list for mantises, which is really good too for anyone who hasn't kept these before and wants to keep a really cool looking one like this. So check out US Mantis. Let's get on with the unboxing. There's a fruit fly in here. And I swear I didn't put him in here and he was in here last night. That's crazy. Is it flying through a little hole? What are the odds? And now we're gonna taste test the maggots. I don't wanna do that. I said I'd do it, so I might have to do it. I could just edit that out. I think I'll do it. That'll yeah, smell good. I'm not gonna eat them. So I haven't uh, ever purchased uh, fly larva other than fruit flies because I'm like, oh, why do I need flies? We have flies everywhere. Uh, I mean, we have fruit flies everywhere in here too, but I don't know, they just never seem that necessary. Like any animal that's eating something that big, I just give small doobie roaches too. I did use my forceps. They're all stuck in here. There you go, guys. Ooh. So there's a strong ammonia smell coming from them. I mean, I think that's normal. I don't expect them to smell like flowers, but let's see. I think I just wait for these little guys to grow up into flies. I'm worried they're going to turn into flies all at the same time, though. And that's what uh, I'm worried about. I don't know, it looks kind of tasty. But I'm worried they're going to all turn to flies at the same time. And then I'm going to just have a thing full of flies and not be able to use them all. But who knows? I, I need to read up more on using these as feeders. Got these, but I'm not going to open this because that's a nightmare. Uh, every time I feed uh, fruit flies to my animals, I leave the door open because like 50 of them just swarm out of it. And only some of them get in the container and it's, it just sucks. Whoop. I should probably put a trash can near here. I'm just throwing all my trash on the ground. All this tape's gonna stick to my feetsies later. Like that ASMR. Satisfying. Okay. We got these boys. I showed you guys the feeders. I don't know why I'm focusing so much on these. They're boring. Mm. So right here. 
we have a ghost mantis and it is awesome looking these are both cooler than i ever could have imagined um, i'm gonna put some close-up shots going on um right now it looks like a little alien the little leaf coming off the top of his head it's really cool wow that's just beautiful it's insane i haven't i it's way cooler than i could have imagined seeing that in person like i've seen them online before but for some reason i'm like wow that really does look awesome uh. this is a spiny flower mantis uh this guy's kind of adorable i feel like my girlfriend's really gonna like this one uh it's really cute and it has these little spines on its back. I mean, the name is the Spiny Mantis. Here's some up close shots. Since I thought these were probably gonna come next week, because um, I'm dumb and don't check my spam folder, um, I'm going to go to the store and get flowers like today, and I'll set up the cage and it'll be all nice because I want the spiny flower mantis to have like a bunch of flowers. Oh, he's drinking. Oh my God, that's wonderful. Hey, guy. I want this one to be like in the flowers. It'll be really cool looking. It'll make for some really awesome videos too. Thank you, US mantis. And this guy, I'm definitely gonna put him in some kind of enclosure. Maybe with just sticks and dead leaves. I don't think I'm gonna do flowers because he blends in more with sticks and dead leaves and They'll kind of build to the aesthetic. Aesthetic? Aesthetic? Autistic? He looks like a freaking alien! Oh my god. Now let's feed them. This is going to be really cool looking. So, uh, you guys are lucky because you get to watch it right now. I don't get to watch it until later today when I feed them. Or next week if they don't eat today. Or two days from now. Whatever. The ghost mantis decided to just not eat, and this is what she did in the time I was trying to feed her. This is over like 10 minutes, she just didn't move and pretended to be a leaf. And since this one didn't eat, I decided to throw in a video of my Chinese mantis catching a fly, and I got this in slow motion, so that's almost better, I don't know, maybe. And though I didn't get this one from US Mantis, they have plenty of these for sale too. Now the spiny flower mantis took it right out of the forceps. It was like real hungry. And before this it ate a fly, but I didn't get it on camera. I have a feeling that this mantis is going to make for some really good videos. And I got a time lapse of it eating an entire roach too, so that's pretty badass. For some reason this girl was just very comfortable with people. Like she let me hold her, she took food from forceps after holding her, like wasn't freaked out from it. Great mantis. Damn, my geometry boys out there will tell me what this shape is. It's a square. Yeah, I just got these on Amazon. They're uh, little butterfly keepers. I, I like them. I kept them for orb weavers before. Worked very well. Uh, but these have a little viewing window. But as you can see, or as you could probably see, the kind of light kind of reflects around it. So you can't really look in with these. You have to put the light from the top and... I don't know, I had trouble filming through this side. I actually cut it out after the Orb Weavers built their web because it kind of just stayed in there. But for these guys, I will not do that because they will not just stay in there. Hey, that's not bad. I could wear this on my head when I'm out trotting through the swamp. You know, so I don't get bugs in my mouth and eyes and nose all the time. That happens a lot. I whip my square back and forth. I whip my square back and forth. But these are a good enclosure for mantis, mantis, mantises, uh, manatees, uh, because it allows a lot of ventilation, um, and that's a big thing for them, uh, for a lot of species at least. But most mantises need a good amount of ventilation which this provides, and it will, I'll be able to put some live plants in there, I'll have to spray it a lot. Um, I might put it like that with the solid end on the ground and fill that with dirt so that can hold some moisture too. I don't know, the options are endless.
Thank you, Jeff Bezos, for this. For the things. Just kidding, Jeff. You didn't give these to me. I had to pay for them. U.S. Mantis, on the other hand, way cooler than Jeff Bezos. They gave me these for free. I paid shipping. U.S. Mantis, you're cool. Jeff Bezos, I'm coming for you, bro. Start giving me free stuff. Oh, and I pro—I kind of just went on without saying anything, but look, we're in a completely new environment where we got tapestries, Alex Gray tapestries. I don't know if you can see the flamey tapestry up there. You definitely can't, but it's up there. We got the one, this, the, the peace sign one, or not the peace sign, the yin-yang. I'm, I'm a poser. I don't know what it's called. We're actually in my other cabin. I live in a cabin down there. This cabin up here is the animal shed. And it's great. We have a whole shed for animals now. Uh, whereas before, I had to live in the same shed as the animals I was with. And I had to make it hot so that the animals would feel comfortable. And I didn't feel comfortable. Long story short, we're moving up in the world. Okay, I'm going to set up the uh, <clears throat> ghost mantis enclosure. Take one of these, throw the other one across the room. Nice. I think I'm gonna do the thing where I fill it with dirt down here. Actually, that's just gonna make a mess. That's gonna fall out the sides. I mean, you see what I'm talking about? Like, the light reflects off at it. You can't really use it for filming. I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna take his little sponge he has in there, drop it inside the water bowl, and fill it up. Things will be good. The wood will hold some moisture too. So I don't really need substrate. Uh, let me just say this is really good packaging. It's like rubber banded so it doesn't shoot open in the box. And the main, like I was really worried about these guys like dehydrating. That's why I had to come back immediately. Uh, even though I had a neighbor put the package inside. They have this little sponge thing that gives them water inside there. So it's, I haven't seen that with pets or invertebrates before it's very helpful let's get mr man mrs mantis in here Good girl crawling out nope not on my hand you can go on my hand yeah go on that stick there you go oh that's cute oh this thing's it's glued to the bottom Makes sense. Why would it stay there if it wasn't glued? Never mind. I'll just give her regular water bowl. I don't think they need sponges. Um, yeah, I'm almost definite they don't need sponges, and that water is fine. And just spraying, letting them drink the droplets off. That's what I do for my other mantis. Already can barely. Oh, that's so cool. It's hanging there like a leaf. That's so cool. It's hanging there like a leaf. Can you spot the mantis? Wow. Yeah, after getting my first mantis, I just fell in love with these guys. That's why I'm so happy US Mantis. Frig sent me these. I don't even know if they need a water bowl. I'm pretty sure they don't. But it's always good to have something like that. That's not too deep because I've had like scorpions drown before. I don't know if mantises will, I'm pretty sure they won't, they're a little smarter. And, but it's always good to have that because it evaporates and creates more uh, humidity. So it's less for the drinking, that's more spraying. Uh, spraying will drink droplets, but more for the humidity. Okay, now for the other mantis, but I threw the enclosure across the room. So she doesn't have any flowers for her right now. So I think I'm just going to use sticks uh, in the meantime, just to give her some cover. This is bent. Jeez, I shouldn't have thrown this across the room. Now I take the mantis and throw it across the room. Just, just joking. I'm not going to do that. Don't want to get Peter in here. Come on, girly. She doesn't move as much as that other guy did.
perfect. That's so cool. Okay, guys, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. That's really important. Maybe hit the little bell icon. Um, leave a comment if you're so inclined. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. It's all official Lizard King all over the place. <laughs> and don't forget to have a good day. So just as I predicted, they all hatched it once, and I had a, I once had a box full of buzzing flies. Now I have a box full of dead flies that smell bad. Ooh. I'm hoping the maggots will eat them, and then life will start anew.